Hello guys, in this video I will show you how I created this lightning ball animation in Procreate Dreams. Let's go! To begin with, we create a new file. We set frames per second to 12 and duration to 1. Press draw. When pressing the timer, a menu opens where we can choose the color of the background. Let's make it dark right away. So we need to create a circle. To avoid struggling with a perfect shape, I choose the hard blend brush. I choose the color and fold the panel into flipbook. Now we need to adjust the size of the brush and click once on the canvas. Super, it worked out. Let's move on. We close the flipbook. By pressing again on the icon of the mode on the right, we get into default mode. Here we can tap on the circle and move it to the center. Now we need to hold down the layer and select full duration so that it fills all the frames. Okay, let's create a new track. I choose white color and fold the panel into flipbook. Oops, don't forget to change the brush to studio pen. So, we start drawing the first frame. I draw an angular figure, making a stretched horizontal polygon. There will be thickenings of the form on the sides. The same goes for the 5th and 6th frame. We smoothly reduce the size of all the lines. Let's make an intermediate preview here. The animation already looks like lightning. Great. Let's move on. Frame number 7. Now we draw another figure. I decided to make even two. We thicken the edges and add waves according to the principle of previous figures. Frame number 8. Here we need another new figure. Let it be something like three lines. Now, according to the principle of past figures, we need to draw their reduction. To see better, we can adjust onion skin again. And to frame 8 does not interfere, we can turn it off for now. We draw frames 9 and 10. We make the reduction of figures. return to the timeline and turn on frame 8, but frames 9 and 10 can be disabled. And now in the last frames, 11 and 12, we draw the reduction of the figure with lines. Not bad, but I want to add some details. I go to frame 2 and draw a small line on the base of the previous frame.
Now there are only two small stages left. We create a new track and choose blue color. We take the soft brush and draw a halo around the ball. On the layers panel, we apply full duration. Now we go to timeline edit mode and group all the layers. Next, in the action menu, we select the move, move and scale item. Now on each frame, we add an object shift in different directions, just a little bit.